Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how you can make metal chandelier in Archicad. I am in ground floor and I'm creating a section. Holding shift and select the section that you just created, right click and open section. I'm using a picture from Pinterest as a reference. I have it here and I'm dragging the picture in and dropping and I will measure it first to see if it's big enough to show all these details that I want to create. Um, 16 meters, that's actually very big. Let's make it smaller. If you want to resize an image, type on a keyboard Ctrl K. This resize um, window will open leave everything ticked and click OK and now from here to here I have 18 meters I'm pressing R on the keyboard to insert new distance and I'm gonna put 5 meters that is large though okay The first thing that I'm going to do is make the candles with this cup. So I am going to make, with a polyline, I'm going to make this section of it. Here is the middle. You can see the image is not very uh, clear, but I'm going down because this cup is going upwards. So I'm going to make a curve there after I finish the polyline and stopping here and here's the middle right and now I'm going to make the curve that's on the exterior to activate this window just drag the line and you have this window here appearing I'm using curve edge and I'm just curving this not very straight let's see if I can make it straight okay now with this polyline selected I'm going to fill because I want to fill this shape in with fill <laughs> and by holding space bar you're activating the magic tool now this is the section I'm selecting the fill before I'm selecting the fill I'm going to morph and I'm making sure I have the geometry method activated revolve so make sure this one is set up and then I'm selecting the fill I'm going to my morph with the fill selected by holding space bar I'm clicking inside and now you can see that little revolve and if you're moving around it shows you how you can revolve like on a different angle but we're going to do it straight so i'm just clicking for the second point here now it's asking me for a revolution angle it's going to be 360 because it's going around and okay if you want to see what you've done you need to go to ge generic perspective because it's not really showing in this section and I'm centering my image fit in window and this is my candle now I'm going back to my section because I want to make as well the bulb it's basically the same thing I'm just going to try and make a thickness out of it because I want to add a different material so polyline Sorry, this should be my middle. If you double click by mistake, just continue with the polyline and click and end your shape. And I'm just adjusting this point here. Mm 
I'm going to drag this up a bit because I need to make a curve here. Here as well. And I'm going to fill and fill in my shape. And with the fill selected, I'm going to morph the revolve it's already set up. So I'm just clicking inside, holding space, and I'm setting up the revolve axis here. And 360 and OK. I'm going to generic perspective. Of course, you can make a thickness in inside, but uh, I just chose not to. I'm going to change the material. I'm activating it and I'm putting glass blue. And this one is going to be um, black something. Let's see. Pay and receipt or metal iron. Yeah, I prefer this one. Okay, I'm going back to my section. I'm going to create um, this cup that's holding all the arms. And because I'm using the same tool, I'm using a morph revolve. I'm just creating a section of it. Now, here, I'm starting with a bit of an edge. And then I'm going like this, here straight. And here I have as well... Uh, tiny bowl. I'm trying to go straight up and then I'm going here because I want to create some thickness and here again and I'm meeting up here. Now by selecting the edge I'm just using the curve edge to make this shape and I need to do this here as well. I'm going to try and do something. Mm. I'm just saying I don't really like the way it turned out. Okay, I'm going to fill this. My axis is going to be here. I'm going to my journey perspective and here is the little cup that's going to hold all the arms. I'm changing the material on the cup, um, metal iron section. As you can see this line, I'm going to create this polyline as well with a red pen because it's easier and here obviously it's a curve so I'm cutting it and then here here seems pretty straight but then I have a curve again and I'm going back here here it has a curve again I'm going here okay now I'm adjusting my polyline. Okay. And of course I have this uh, central axe that is gonna hold my piece together. I'm just going to drag this down. Okay, now to make this um, little curvy uh, arm, I need to create a profile. In order to create a profile, I'm going to fill first because I want to make sure this is the thickness and it's going to be 0 0.05. No. Yes. Okay. okay. This is going to be the section of the bar. I'm copying this fill. So, copy. I'm going here to design complex profiles, profile manager. So, I'm creating a new profile. 
this is why I'm clicking here on new. New profile is going to be um, circle. It's double L, huh? Nice. Okay, and I'm just looking for this point. So paste here. It's going to be center of my current view. Very, very small. So I'm assuming this is my center. And I'm trying to put center of my circle into this point. Now, this profile is going to be a beam. And I'm going to click on these and overwrite surfaces. And I'm going to put it metal iron and overwrite. Now, this one is created. I'm going to copy this line. So, right click, copy, and I'm going to my ground floor. This is the only way that you can make beams. You need to be in a, in a floor, in a floor plan. Take center the current view because I don't really care. And going to my beam tool and I'm selecting the complex profile. And this is the one that I'm using. Setting up the metal iron. And OK, I'm selecting the polyline, I'm going to beam, and I'm holding the space bar, and continue. Now let's see what I have, so I'm going to generate perspective, and I'm looking for this arm. I have the arm, I just need to turn it around, so I'm going back to ground floor, where it is. It's in, it's a uh, one floor up, so I'm selecting it. Control D to drag it. I want to drag it in front of this section. I'm selecting my beam and converting it to a morph. And Boolean operation union to make it in one piece. Now I'm going to make a new section to see. And I'm Control E to rotate, rotating this arm. Now I'm going to generate perspective. Very far away, but I'm going to bring it closer. Control D to drag. I'm going to generate perspective and I just need to drag it up. And now I want to rotate a copy, so Control Shift E and let's find the middle. Shift E again. Press R on the keyboard to set up the angle and pressing the up arrow key and it's going to be minus 60 degrees. And I'm going to make a mirror out of this so Control Shift N. Here. We have the six arms and going back to generate perspective to see it. Looks quite nice. We just need to make the um, holding stick that's holding this chandelier. Here's my column and which settings I'm going to make it round and I'm going to make it 10. Let's see if it's yeah, it's fine. I'm going back to generate perspective to see where it is. 
and I'm just going to drag it up. So, Control T. I think it's quite thick, so I'm going to make it um, thinner. Um, 0, 5. And I'm just going to change the material to metal iron. Going to the section just to make the, but I'm just going to make a ceiling cup. And I am improvising a bit because I don't need actually have the drawing as a reference. But there you go. And with this selected, I'm just going to go to fourth, same as before. There you go, we have a metal chandelier. Thank you so much for watching, if you have any questions leave them in the commentaries below and I'll see you next time.